With the GoCurrency.com sports ticker, I'm Tim Mulhelp on the Huskers Radio Network. Happy Thursday, Huskers fans. We have a full slate of guests tonight. Ahead in hour one, we'll hear from Coach Frost and Wyatt Lever. Elsewhere in Nebraska sports, Husker soccer takes on Arizona tonight at 7.05 p.m. And in pro sports today, in the NBA, OKC Thunder top draft pick Chet Holmgren has been ruled out for the year with a foot injury. This update has been presented by Currency. Does your business need help financing big ticket items like equipment, trucks, and trailers? Currency is here to help. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelp at Sports Nightly is next. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Quick attack for the white Becca Alec. Bangs it. Great dig. And then a Whitney Launstein second touch roll shot drops for the Red. Four to one. Nice jitterbug move. And it bounces into the outside 40 to the 50 yard line to the 40. 30 yard line, 20. That's Grant, 15, 10, 5. He's in there. Touchdown, Anthony Grant with an electrifying move. Pops it just across past Mendelssohn. Good pass by the 17 year old. Gets it back. Swings dug by the red. Krause, left side swing. Kubik cross court in. She cannot miss tonight. 12 kills, one air. Third and goal to one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dives. He's in. Touchdown, Nebraska. Yes! Here is your host, Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. Good evening. Welcome to Buskers Bar here in the heart of Dublin. Are there any Husker fans? Come on, in the let's hear today? it. Yeah, more red today than yesterday, and there'll be more red tomorrow than today, as we're now 48 hours away from kicking this thing off. I did see my first two purple people today, but it is still vastly outnumbered with red here in Dublin. And this bar is hopping. We got Husker fans from all over, and you got a standing ovation when you walked into the bar. <laughs> yeah, well, they were, they, they've were they had a few Jamesons or something <laughs> going on with that. You know, it, th this was another Chamber of Commerce weather type day here. It was, it was beautiful. Spectacular. Great sunshine most of the day. Uh, temperatures right around 70s. Huskers had a, a workout today. We're going to hear some clips from the head coach who met with the media after practice today. Uh, but man, the weather has just been fantastic all three days we've been here. And they keep saying that we lucked into this, that this is not normal, that we brought it with us, I guess, uh, coming over from the States. But yeah, it's been so great. And the players have got to love it practicing in this weather too. And, and said last night that a couple of coaches said, hey, this is football weather. So uh, it's been nice out there and uh, I know they've enjoyed it. So we'll hear from, from the head coach who did again talk to some of the media folks here after practice today. That's, that's kind of normal for a Thursday week of a football game. No media access tomorrow, and then it's off and ready to roll. And uh, So we're anxious to hear what the head coach had to say uh, a little bit later. We're expecting a couple people to come on board. Your charge all week has been to get us somebody with an Irish accent on the program. Are we going to have that tonight? I think we've got that lined up. I believe okay. we are going to have some Irish accents on the show tonight. Very good. The organizers of this wonderful event obviously are from this uh, wonderful country and have done a great job. They've really rolled out the red carpet for the teams, for the fans. I think everybody has felt like they're really comfortable here. You know, we, we are kind of feel we're Nebraska nice, right? But they kind of feel like they're Ireland nice. Yeah, and they said that, that how everybody is so friendly here. And when I explained to a couple of them about Nebraska nice, hey, there's this thing called Nebraska nice. And they said, well, we, we kind of think that we're pretty friendly folks too. And they have been so nice. And they're so excited to have Nebraska here and Northwestern here. And I know that they're really looking forward to the game too. But uh, one thing, though, we got to we got to work on the lingo with some of these uh, Irish folks too. It's been called a match, and you know the the pitch, obviously. But yeah. we've got some soccer lingo in the football game prep. I don't know how much the folks here really follow college football. I think it's not very much. I think it's a bit of a foreign game to them. No, but they're they're sports they're trying. fans. Yeah, they're sports fans, and they love all kinds of sports, and they show out. So. Um, I'm, I'll be anxious to see how many fans from here come to the game on Saturday. They're expecting a crowd of the mid-30s. The Huskers fans probably between 10 and 13,000 will be here Northwestern. About three, I think, with what they sold. It's going to look pretty good on TV. The stadium seats about 45. It's really a cool stadium. It's not that old. It's about 15, 16 years old is when it was built. And it took a, they built it on the same side as they had an old stadium um, here in this town. And for their pro rugby franchise and they have a pro soccer franchise that shares that complex but 
Football? Only a handful of football games ever been played. You didn't played step there. on the grass today, did you? Nope. Hey, I wouldn't do that. There's signs. They are making sure people are monitoring that grass. They slash. were. They were starting to line it today. Yes, they yeah. were starting to put the the lines down. It's being painted, and are they painting the end zones? Yes. Yes, they are painting the end zones. That was going to happen later today, too. Good. So, But the, the lines are going on the grass right now. You know what else, Greg, is too, just talking to a couple of players, how much they've enjoyed the things surrounding this surrounding this trip and, and getting to experience Dublin and the culture here and, and learning about the history. And they even did some Irish dancing last night, and we were all into that, the river dancing. And so they've really embraced everything that's surrounding this game it's part of the experience right of coming over here and doing that and ch learning about a different culture for all these guys and a couple of the huskers nick henrich was one that had said he'd been to dublin before but for most of them it's the first time they've ever left the country so to come and absorb some of this is part of the learning experience it's what kevin warren the commissioner of the big ten was raving about back in july he was really proud of nebraska and northwestern for bringing their teams across the pond and, and to play this game and it's you know, a lot of times our basketball programs, John Cook's volleyball program, they'll go do foreign trips in the summertime and experience Spain or Italy or Japan, China, those type of things. Football's pretty rare. It's only the second time a Husker football's ever left the country. Yeah, and, and again, these players are just loving it. They were on a double-decker bus today. Good for getting, them. Getting a tour, and I just, I think they're, they're really embracing doing this together, too. And how many times have we talked about how much fun this team is and how close-knit they are and this experience only is going to add to that because they're doing all these things together and it's not like you're over there going to classes and, and coming to practice and then leaving and going doing your separate things I mean they are together all the time all day every day and I think it's even an already close team has even gotten closer throughout this experience Huskers uh, are headed to uh, a kickoff of 11.30 Central. It'll be 5.30 in the afternoon here in Dublin. So it'll get dark by the end of the game. The sun sets around 8.30 here in Dublin. So the lights will definitely take, and take a hold later in the game for those of you back in Nebraska or wherever you're listening tonight. Uh, it'll feel a little odd, but still kind of a midday football game for the Oscars and the Wildcats. Northwestern's been pretty quiet this week. Not, and not just the fans not being around. Pat Fitzgerald has really kept it close to the vest. I'm not sure there's any media over here covering them. I don't know that he's even had a press event since he's been on on the soil here. I did notice today I was uh, walking by the stadium about the time Northwestern was practicing. They had a bunch of parents there, I guess, yeah. they were checking out practice, too. And um, so... I, I don't know how many people there will be. I know it will be vastly outnumbered, but th it, this has been the whole fall camp for Northwestern. There hasn't been much press Very out on it. I don't think they had a press conference until five or six days into it and, and not a lot written about them. So, yeah, I mean, not a lot. You can talk about close to the best. That's what it's really been for Northwestern. They have not announced their starting quarterback for this game. Which you said all along was not going to happen. I, yeah, I don't think he was going to do that. I think we'll see both of those quarterbacks play. Huskers certainly have. Casey Thompson getting ready to make his first start as a Husker on Saturday. And, you know, I think the coaches kept talking with Casey, Jessica, that a big leg up that he had on Chubba and Logan is more experienced. And you're playing in a foreign land, a lot of bright lights, a lot of people are going to be the biggest game of the day in college football. But Casey's been in those type of situations before. Yeah, but he's never been the starting quarterback to start a season. So this is, uh, he's embracing it. He loves it. You know, he's the most confident he's been his entire college career, and he's excited for this opportunity that this is his team going into this week, that he is the guy. And, you know, he was having to earn it every week at Texas. But even still, yes, that experience, he does have the experience as a starting quarterback. But I think he's really embracing it, and he feels as good as he's ever felt and is excited for the opportunity. Looking forward to seeing him, seeing this offense. Eric Chenander, we had the clip from him last night just saying he's he's ready to see if this defense is what he thinks it is. And I think we're kind of that same way as fans. We want to see is this team what we think it can be when they kick this thing off in, in, in 48 hours. So who are you most excited to watch? Yeah, Special that's... teams, defense, offense. I did. Wh which one are you most intrigued about? I, I, I got, I've done three hits today on some of our affiliates back in the States, and I got that question from all three, and I, I kind of vacillate between, obviously, I want to see what these new weapons on offense have. I want to see these kickers, too. I want to see the new punter and the new kicker, and 
first time we line up for a 35-yard field goal, are we drilling that baby? I mean, I, I watch the stuff I want to see from this group. <laughs> yes, and we're getting <laughs> cheers from the crowd here. Absolutely. I mean, special teams, huge question, intriguing for me. But And even if you look at the defense, while there's a lot of players that are coming back, that have played a lot of football, there's still questions, what kind of step is Garrett Nelson going to take, you know? And, and I know he's really pushed himself, and he wants to be a better better pass rusher and get to the quarterback more. And, and what is O'Shawn Mathis going to add? And, and so even the players that have played a lot of football, you wonder how they're going to progress. Ty Robinson, what, what step does he take, too? So I'm intrigued to see the defense, too, and how those all those new pieces come together, and then some of those new players in the secondary, how they emerge as well. Well, we know they want to be on the field first. Yes, they everybody every single defensive player every single black shirt i've talked to have been pushing to be on the field first yeah they now that there's three captains that are black shirts they say that they're going to be uh in scott frost here about that too yeah you know, and i think the ideal scenario would be win the coin toss defer your choice to the second half play defense early and let those black shirts go to work who, i think that'd be a great way to who do would it. you want calling the toss this season. You know, this is an interesting story because um, in two weeks back in Lincoln, the Nebraska Football Hall of Fame is going to add some new names. One of them, the great Prince of Mucamara, is going to go into the Nebraska Football Hall of Fame. Prince, when he was a captain, messed up the coin toss like three times <laughs> during a season. Bo would tell him, we want heads, or we want tails, or we want the ball, or we want to kick, or whatever. And Prince messed it up. Like, And Prince is a very intelligent guy. This is not like this is a guy that needed extra study halls. He was a good student. Unlike me, I needed extra study halls. But he went out at three different times during that year. Prince fouled up the point toss. So, um, give me the offensive guy. Give me Travis Vokalek making that call. I like call. that. The future coach. I feel like he would be good in that spot. Yeah. You know, and, and you. What? Is that your pick too? I, I like it. I like it, but I don't know how you're going to get it away from Garrett Nelson. Yeah. So, you're not. I, and we might see how it goes. If they're superstitious and the first couple don't go the way they want, they might switch it up and let somebody else take it over. Hey, if the Oscars return the first or second half opening kickoff for a touchdown, you could win a $54,000 credit on a new vehicle from any Woodhouse Auto family dealership this season. A contestant is chosen weekly. Go to Huskers.com slash Woodhouse for official rules and how to enter. So we're going to hear from some uh, clips from Scott Frost. He met with the media earlier today. Wyatt Lever, who is from O'Neill, Nebraska. Anybody here from O'Neill? I doubt we have anybody in here from O'Neill. Anybody here know where O'Neill is? All right, a yeah. couple of you. Well, it is the Irish capital of Nebraska, right? The biggest St. Paddy's Day celebration every year is in O'Neill. Wyatt's from O'Neill, so we'll get to did talk to Wyatt. Did you know that, or did you learn that at that event the other night? Oh, no, no. That's that's common knowledge okay. in Nebraska. You St. Paddy's Day, you go to O'Neill. <laughs> and they paint the streets green. It's ready to roll. Green beer? Oh, they do green beer. Don't say that around here. They, people don't want to hear that here. <laughs> That's sacrilegious in, in Dublin to say green beer. Ruins the beer, right? Yeah, it does. Can you ruin beer? I don't know that you can. I don't know. We'll have I don't, to I don't, think, you, I don't think you can ruin beer. <laughs> Can't red beer. You can do those all day. All right, uh, we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll play some clips from Scott Frost's press conference earlier today as the Oscars uh, had their quick Thursday practice. One more little workout for them tomorrow, and then it's off to game day. We are live in Buskers. Let's let them hear it back home, Go folks. Go Big Red! From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm student government president Jake Drake with Campus News. Nebraska has the most technically advanced buildings in the Big Ten, according to an annual review of universities across the country. Nebraska has also saved over $85 million over the past 17 years by making long-term investments in clean, reliable energy sources, cutting-edge automation, and collaborations across campus. Discover the pinnacle of American automotive design with the all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair is your Wagoneer certified dealer, delivering an experience to match the premium quality of your vehicle, making your choice easy. The all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer are equipped with state-of-the-art technology, a luxurious, expansive cabin, and confident capability you would expect from this legendary SUV. Visit us in-store or online at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. Pivot control has never been easier. TNL Irrigation now offers a new control panel called Precision Point Touch. It's a full color, seven inch graphic touchscreen that's easy to use and gives you lots of great tools to make your irrigation faster and more efficient. Set up your pivots the way you want. You can update your older controls to the new Precision Point Control Panel too. 
Call your local TNL dealer or visit TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation, like no other. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raised local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. It's time to amp up the fun. Now, during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Just move on up. Get great offers on select Ford vehicles, and you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on up. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash huskers. I'm so glad we called SOS. Our AC is the coldest. I'm always the coldest. SOS to the rescue. Hey, this is Dakota Scrawford, raw receiver from Louisiana, now playing in Lincoln. When your AC isn't the coldest, you call SOS heating and cooling. Their takes don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than a competition guarantee. Take it from the coldest. We will keep you cool this summer. I'm University of Nebraska Lincoln student Hannah Fahm with Campus News. Students from Nebraska's Johnny Carson Center for Emerging Media Arts helped create visual effects for the Star Wars TV series Obi Wan Kenobi. This opportunity came from a three month internship with Lola VFX, a visual effects firm in Los Angeles. This internship transitioned to employment, with Huskers also creating effects for the superhero movie Thor Love and Thunder. We welcome you back to Buskers here in the heart of Dublin. It's Sports Nightly here on the Huskers Radio Network. Greg Sharp along with Jessica Cootie. And a, about 1,000 Husker fans. They are here and ready. Hundreds. And they're all drinking ginger ale and lemonade, and they're, they're having a good time right here in Buskers tonight. Guinness. And, oh, there's a Guinness. One, yeah. get one Guinness. One Guinness in here. <laughs> so the uh, head coach met with the media today after the Huskers workout over near Aviva Stadium, and he was asked about how, how has the transition been with flipping the clock ahead six hours and making that long flight over here and getting ready for a game. Here was the coach. You know, I'll be honest, I was really concerned coming over um, just because you, you can't anticipate everything. The guys that planned this did an unbelievable job, and our players have handled it really well. Um, so it, it's, it's been unbelievable. I think it's been a good experience for our players. But they're dialed in and ready to play, and they're doing a really good job of enjoying things when they need to enjoy it and then focusing when they need to focus, which is a sign of maturity and 
uh, we've had a really good time. So on Monday, we met, or Sunday, I guess was the presser before we left, and he's like, yeah, we're, we're, we're good, we're not really worried. And then he goes, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I was concerned. And you have to be doing that much travel. Yeah, you never know. And, you know, flying overnight, and there were a little bit of plane issues that delayed it back a little bit, and they had such a meticulous schedule of what was going to take place when they got here to make sure that they could get their bodies acclimated. But, again, this team has just handled everything so well, and, and uh, I think a lot of that is... Uh, you know, a heads, uh, well, a shout out to the leadership and the Unity Council and the different leaders that have been the voices of their different position groups, making sure that they're doing what they need to do to make sure they're ready to roll come Saturday. Yeah, this is our GoCurrency.com Oscar football practice report. The head coach was asked, this team has been able to do some, some sightseeing type tours. They've gone to a castle. They're going to go see one of the uh, factories that that makes alcoholic drinks uh, while they're over here so they've been and as you mentioned they went to a little irish dance last night he was asked how has that has he seen kind of the team bond together with going to some of these events yeah we had a good time last night uh they had one of their best practices yesterday uh we got on a bus and went to dinner at they saw some traditional Irish music and some traditional Irish dancing. I think some of the old coaches, like me, were the only ones that knew some of the lyrics to the songs. Uh, but they really got into it, enjoyed it. Um, this is a tight-knit group, and I think they're going to be there for each other all year, and it's going to be fun to watch. Have you seen the Instagram video or the video that they posted from that last night? Uh, I mean, the players are in the crowd just hyping up the dancers. It was it was fun to watch. I know Va Clements got up and did some dancing. I know he is not Irish. Yes. From Hawaii. So and there was somebody, there was one other player there. Yeah, and I can't think who he said who was one of the other players, but that would have been Borkature. fun. One of the Borkatures, and I don't know if it was Nate or Ian. I don't know which one it was. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it was one of the Borkatures. Yeah. All right, uh, this team has... Um, one thing for Scott Frost, he's not calling the plays, right? This is a big transition for him. He's handed that off to Mark Whipple. So he was asked today, what's that going to be like for you Saturday for the first time as the Husker head coach not calling plays? Uh, looking forward to, no, I'd say it, it's more uh, concern. It's just something I haven't done for a long time. But I've already thinking a lot about the, the other things that I can add. Uh, if I don't have my head buried in a call sheet. Yeah. Um, so it, it'll be a different experience for me, but everybody else is going to be doing exactly what they've always done and what they're good at. So uh, I'm going to trust that and try to help where I can with more than one face. It's got to be different for him, right? I mean, he's used to having that thing and calling out what's going to be run next. His entire coaching career, right? I mean, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. I think that'll be another one of those questions that you can ask him beforehand, but you're yeah. really not going to know until after how he truly feels about it. Like about how, right. once the game is done, how it felt for him. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just different for him. Right? Uh, you're right. You, that'll be the at the post game. How did it go, coach? Were you able to bite your tongue and let it let it play out in front of you? Obviously, he can veto anything. He's head coach. He can go, no, no, we're going to run the ball here, we're going to throw the ball here, or something like that. And, you know, Jeremiah Searles, when he was on with us last week, he, or earlier this week, he had talked about how for the offense, a lot of times you have the scripted plays out that you know are going to work best for this offense, that you've run the best throughout fall camp. And even though Scott Frost might not be calling those plays, he's no doubt has had an input on what those calls and what those plays are, are probably going to be in certain situations. All right, uh, Huskers have mentioned practice today. They'll have a workout tomorrow. So he was asked, what's the plan between when today's practice ended and when you tee it up on Saturday? We've kind of gone over this territory already back home. So we kind of had a lead up to the game before we left and another lead up to the game here. Uh, the guys have a couple more tours today. Um, then we got meetings tonight. Tomorrow is really focused on games. We have our Fast Friday tomorrow, and it'll it'll feel just like an away game at a hotel. Then for the rest of the day tomorrow, um, pretty much the haze in the barn. Uh, I think we're ready, so we're looking forward to it. Is that uh, is that unbelievable? Nebraska coach haze in the barn. I mean, it kind of, that's awesome <laughs> to throw that little term out there, right? Haze in the barn. I think, you know, again, this is a team that's been prepping for this. They're ready to go, and, you know, they did a lot of the prep before they got here, and, and those leaders are making sure that 
balancing everything that goes along with a trip like this that um, you know they'll be ready to go and they'll, they'll those final touches they'll know exactly what to do to make sure that they've got it all all the hay is in the barn come kick off. <laughs> that's just that's a perfect Nebraska term right hay is in the barn all right uh, Eric Chenander got asked this yesterday and we played it for you last night on the program about he was asked what he most looking forward to see from the black shirts and he said I want to see them validate what I think they are and the same question kind of got asked of Coach Frost today. Here was his response. Uh, I, I know what kind of defense we have, so um, I think the big question for me right now is if anything goes bad, how are we going to react? And we got a confident team, uh, a really close-knit team. Uh, we haven't hit any adversity yet, but when we do, I want to make sure that they keep attacking. Up, up 40, down 40, up 7, down 7. We need to be on the attack. And... Um, our defense is dialed in. They know their calls. They know where they're supposed to be. They communicate well. They play hard. Um, I'm anxious to watch them. So there you go. Comments from the head coach after practice today. Seemed pretty relaxed, I thought. You were kind of closer to the huddle than I was. I was up doing a, a radio show. He, he seemed like he had his body language looked pretty good. Yeah, and they were, you know, celebrating and cheering and hooting and hollering at the end of the practice. And I just, I think they're so ready to go. I think they're ready to get on the field and ready to kick this thing off. I thought it, it's been pretty interesting just hitting on that topic a little bit more just with the players hearing how the defense has said how much more prepared they feel because of the different wrinkles and facing Coach Whipple's offense every day in practice. And, of course, the offense is saying that because of how good the defense is. And so the way that they've been able to balance and, and push each other and be competitive in practice, we'll see how it all um, comes to fruition on Saturday. 5.30 here in Dublin, 11.30 back in the Central Time Zone for kickoff for the Oscars and the Wildcats. That's our practice report presented by Currency. Does your business need quick, easy, and secure financing for equipment, trucks, or trailers? All you need is Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for detail. We are in Buskers. Folks having a good time down here tonight. Nobody's playing ping pong. There's a, a little pool game going on in the back. Foosball table is surrounded, but I don't think anybody's playing foosball. I was really good at foosball growing up. Were you? I'd go to the Godfathers every Friday night. I'd order a pizza, and we would just roll through that foosball game put your quarter up i would stay on that game for an hour i was good i was more good. of a shuffleboard i'm pretty good at shuffleboard it's all about the touch love you know? yeah love shuffleboard that's a great one there hey uh buckle up put that phone down it's a reminder from the ndot highway safety office we will have more from buskers in the heart of dublin coming up next it's time to amp up the fun now during the ford summer supercharged sales event just move on up Get great offers on select Ford vehicles, and you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on up. The name of our new promotion says it all. Powerball First Millionaire of the Year. Through September 12th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket at any Nebraska Lottery retailer and enter the voucher number to win a trip to New York City for New Year's Eve on December 31st, 2022. Plus, you'll also get a chance to win $1 million and become the Powerball First Millionaire of 2023. Remember, this promotion ends on September 12th, so plan ahead and play today. Powerball top prize odds 1 in 292 million. Let Shelter Insurance get you in the game this football season. The Nebraska Huskers are gearing up for another big year, and this is your chance to win tickets from Shelter Insurance and the Husker Radio Network. Contact a Nebraska Shelter agent, and they'll register you for a chance to win tickets to one of four home football games this season. Only Shelter agents can register you, so call, email, or drop by for your chance to win. Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com slash Huskers and ask them to register you to win. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. We might have just come out with our most refreshing Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer yet. It's called the Essential Collection. It's made with coconut water and real fruit juice. So it's always going to have a real refreshing fruit taste. Can refreshing get any more refreshing? Yep, it can and it just did. 
Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer, made with coconut water and real fruit juice for superior taste. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer, IRC Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. I'm so glad we called SOS. Our AC is the coldest. I'm always the coldest. SOS to the rescue. Hey, this is Dakota Scrawford, raw receiver from Louisiana, now playing at Lincoln. When your AC isn't the coldest, you call SOS Heating and Cooling. Their takes don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than a competition guaranteed. SOS Take it from the coldest. We'll keep you cool this summer. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. How can I help? Hi, thanks for telling my family and me about Toyota's national sales event. Oh, you're welcome. We got a new RAV4 during the event, and it's been great. Well, that makes me happy. Right now through September 6th, it is the best time to drive off in a new Camry Hybrid, Tacoma, and more. So what are you up to? You know, we took the RAV4 to a great spot. We've hiked, rafted, and now we're exploring a cave. Amazing. You're inside a cave right now? Yep. Well, I'm glad the RAV4 could make it all happen. Yeah, my wife talked me into spelunking. I'm actually a complete and absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. Huh, I could have done without the echo on that. Toyota's national sales event is on. Visit your participating Toyota dealer today to enjoy every last second of summer. Toyota, let's go places. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Dealer inventory may vary. Event ends September 6th. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks. Foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Save with low price lockdown from High V. We've locked down prices on hundreds of your favorite everyday items. Prices are locked down for months and months on major leading name brands. The products that you like, the products that you want, and products that you'll want to stock up on. And all of the prices are locked down until we unlock them and lower them even more. Low price lockdown. Deals you can't beat anywhere. Only at High V. There's Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cooney, we're back in the heart of Dublin. Buskers Bar, Huskers fans around here having a good time. Met a lot of folks who flew in today. They're tired. They're toothpicks in the eyes trying to stay awake till later tonight. Yeah, and we talk about fans from all over. We just met somebody from Saudi Arabia. How about that? Um, and then Edmond, Oklahoma from my home state. There's some uh, Nebraska fans here. And then also, shout out to Donna and Bill over there. They are from Bellevue, Nebraska. They were here last night, too. Yep, they so, were. I mean, met so many great people. Met a uh, former Husker who is from Houston, and a former Husker wrestler lives up in South Dakota. So we got this gamut covered yes. uh, for here tonight. Our Sports Alley Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned, you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. If you're back in Nebraska and looking for something to do tonight, Husker Soccer will be on the pitch. 7.05 at Hibner Stadium taking on, hold on, I'll remember this, Arizona. The Wildcats are in town. Our and that, uh, that yeah, former team. Sammy Hawk, who's the Huskers goalie, played at Arizona, started a career at Arizona. Yep. 
So. It's, uh, I remember last year was right when she got hurt. She was so disappointed she couldn't yep. go out there. So you know she's excited to get to play them this year. Oscars beat OU Sunday 2-1. They'll play Arizona again at 7.05 at Hibner tonight. So if you're in the area, go on out. They'd love to have you come on out and support Husker soccer. Husker volleyball begins their season tomorrow. Two matches tomorrow, 11 a.m. at the Devaney Center. The number one ranked team in the country will take on Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Then they will play Tulsa in the night session at 6 o'clock at the Devaney Center. So two matches tomorrow for the Huskers. Did you see the open doors tweet? That, you showed me that. That was unbelievable. Open Not surprising. Not open open, surprising, open doors tweeted out the, the top ten Big Ten volleyball players in and worth for NIL deals. Seven of the ten were Husker volleyball players. One through seven, right? It was yes. the first seven. The first seven were Huskers. And then it, you sprinkled in a badger and a gopher. I think we're in there eight and nine, but top seven. I mean, but you go back to when the Final Four and the NCAA tournament was happening, and they were showing graphics of that, and it was four of the top ten and or four of the top five and six of the top ten in NIL earners were from Nebraska and those then the sweet 16 of the teams that were left and so I mean it's just so impressive sure is so two matches tomorrow at the Devaney Center I know that place will be rocking and ready as if for... Coach Cook needed another tool in his belt to recruit yeah. you know Nicklin Haynes number one on that list I know I mean look at that Adidas deal I can't wait I mean I'm until we're supposedly getting those shoes and I've been calling them the Nicklin Haynes <laughs> so uh, they are sweet that's cool all right uh, Wyatt Lever is a walk-on from O'Neill Nebraska O'Neill has the distinction of being the uh, Irish capital of Nebraska they have a huge celebration on St. Patty's Day every year Wyatt a walk-on he catches everything yeah. if you go to practice and you see a guy he never drops a ball and he'll probably He'll find his way on the field as the season goes on. Absolutely just reliable, you know, and I did not ask him about O'Neill. I'm sorry in advance. I kind of forgot. But, yeah, I was, went to practice one day. was standing next to Carol Frost, and she had mentioned that. She's like, gosh, he just catches passes. And so he's just so reliable and just builds that chemistry with each and every quarterback just because he's in the right spot. He's where he's supposed to be, and these quarterbacks know that they can rely on him to be in that spot. So here is Wyatt inside the stadium if you're watching on our YouTube stream so you can get a view of that stadium. All right, well, here we are inside of Viva Stadium. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's a lot bigger than I expected. Grass looks great. Can't wait to see it full of red. Overall, how's the experience been so far? You've been here a couple of days. I know you guys have had a couple experiences. What's it been like? Uh, really eye-opening. Things are a lot different and really cool, and it's cool to get to see how people live and how their culture over here. So I look forward to many more experiences. Something so far that you've taken away the most? Um, I feel like the food tastes a lot different, mm -hmm. but it still is good. Um, there's not a lot. I haven't seen one pickup truck, mm -hmm. a lot of cars. <laughs> so that's a little different, too. That is different. That is different. How about the weather? It feels great out here, right? Yeah, the weather's beautiful. We've seen some sun yesterday, a little cloudy today. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but it's nice and cool football weather. How cool is this experience as a team? I know this is a close football team, but to get to do something like this together and, and add to that already close-knit group. Yeah, it helps us build friendships, getting to spend a lot of time with each other. So getting to sit on a plane next to a guy for nine hours, <laughs> you'll get to know him pretty well. So that's good. And just getting to know each other. Who did you sit next to? I sat next to Marcus Washington. Awesome. Um, just overall now that it's game week, how does it feel that, it, you know, I know Camp can be a grind, and you got summer ball and spring, but now that it's finally game week, how does it feel? Uh, the guys feel confident. We feel relaxed. We finally get to take a little bit off our legs and get ready for the game, so I feel like we're confident and ready to go. We haven't spoken to you since uh, you've been a part of this new offense. Overall, how do you like being a part of this offense? I feel great. I feel like it's really explosive. I feel like we're going to surprise a lot of people and show a lot of new faces and do what we do. Year in and year out, and last year and, and this year, you seem to be a, a guy of comfort for the quarterbacks that they just can throw the ball to and you're reliable. What goes into that? How have you become a guy that so many different quarterbacks can rely on? Um, I think that comes into showing up every day to practice, practicing hard every single day, whether it's routes on air or in a team period, just running every single route hard and being in the right place at the right time. And Casey's going to get the start. What have you seen from him and, and how he's been able to lead this offense so far? Poise, um, control, and leadership. He's a really smart cat, and he does a great job leading our offense. As you guys are, have, have been all in on, on game prep on Northwestern, what's the key going up against that defense for this offense to have success? Um, I think playing fast. We're going to be a lot more athletic and faster than they are, I think, but they're going to be smart and disciplined, so we got to be smart and disciplined as well.
And you know the black shirts as well as anybody. I mean, you guys have been going up against them. How much confidence that, does that give an offense, knowing the defense that you guys are going to have on the field too? Yeah, we talk about it every week. The defense we get to go against every day is going to be one of the best we'll see all year. So that makes us better, and it makes them better too. So glad to see those guys. Personally for you, what, what do you want to do week one here to help this offense? I'd like to do whatever it takes to help them win, you know, whether it's one catch or no catches, whatever it takes. Appreciate your time. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. There you have it. There's Wyatt Lieber. Number 85. And again, walk on wide receiver. And I know we keep talking about all the big additions that they've had. Guys like that find a way at some point in time in the season to have an impact. And I think he will. Yeah, Brody just, Belt, same way. Yeah, and if you come to practice and you do what you're supposed to do and, and you're working hard, you're going to get rewarded for Yep. That. And so he's being rewarded for that. And I mean, it's just, again, you go to practice and... You see him every time. He, there, it never fails. He's going to catch some pass, some big play throughout practice. And, um, and, and not just that. I mean, if, if he's called upon to in a blocking situation, and, and whatever it might be, he's just a guy that wants to do whatever he can to help this team win. He's bigger than you kind of think, right? Yeah, he's tall. He's pretty tall. Yep. I mean, you kind of see him in game day, and then you see him in person. You're like, man, you're a little bigger than I thought you would were going to be. Yeah, so. he's, he's tall for sure. Good kid. Scott Frost loves guys like that. In fact, I didn't play the clip, but Scott got asked today about Colton Feast getting the black shirt yesterday and how proud of Colton he was and says he just epitomizes what the walk-on program is. And they, the coaches I know were really excited to have Colton get that black shirt his teammates were excited i told you i was out there when the black shirts when after they first put them on and they were running out and uh marquis buford and, and colton fees got just a huge applause from his teammates and they were so happy for him and and again a guy that has grinded and put in the time and and it is his time and, and ty robinson has been raving about him since the spring and and going back to the spring when they were so short on depth and had to take a lot of reps he was a guy that really benefited from that and and um Prove, prove what he could do, and, and now he's going to be a big part of that defensive line. It was on our Lincoln affiliate earlier today, and they said this has been the week of UTAN Nebraska because Colton's from UTAN, and so is Nate Fisher, who uh, made his Major League debut with the Mets over the weekend, pitching uh, for three shutout innings. So big weekend for the town of UTAN Nebraska. Good for them. We are at Buskers. Anybody here with us tonight? Oscar fans in the house? Yes. Yeah. All right. They can't cheer real loud because they got something in their hand. So they can't they can't clap because they got one hand occupied. Let's try a different one. How about it's kinda hard to slap your hip or something. Let's try a different one. How about Husker? That was that was kind of weak. <laughs> the Husker power <laughs> chant was that was There we go. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Love that. Real quick, we need to tell you, Husker Athletics offering a Big Ten mini plan for football tickets for the four conference home games, Indiana, Illinois, Minnesota, Wisconsin. If you have an interest in that, go visit huskers.com slash tickets. We're back to wrap up hour one of Sports Highly from Buskers in the heart of Dublin. That's coming up next. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash huskers. 
Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown! Nebraska! Jump by Nick Redhead! Hey Huskers fans, this Saturday, join us for a jam-packed day of Husker sports beginning at 7.30 a.m. with Huskers game day against Northwestern. We'll take you through pregame from kickoff to the final whistle and all the way through to the last phone call on Big Red Reaction. At 6.30 p.m., Nebraska volleyball pregame coverage begins for Nebraska showdown with Pepperdine. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker athletics. Having a confident teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With a proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. Huskers Radio Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back in. Buskers, we are in Dublin, the heart of this wonderful city. Huskers set to play 5.30 local time, 11.30 Saturday morning against the Northwestern Wildcats. Only the second game in the history of Husker football to be played on a foreign soil. Who remembers the first? Anybody? Tokyo, Japan, 1992, the Coca-Cola Bowl. And we played another cat, Purple Cat. We played the K-State Wildcats in that game. So something about Purple and Wildcats. Brendan could talk about that, right? Brendan played in the game. But we're not sure. Brendan is being held up at dinner, I think. So I don't know. That's what gets these... These guys, we were hoping Brendan would come by and grace us with his presence tonight. We uh, are going to do a pick segment again this week with, for college football. A little skinny between now and next Saturday, but we have a few games to get into tonight with our crew picking games. Jessica is the reigning champion, won yes. that last year. You know, I my suitcase, I was so disappointed because on the first segment, I, I planned to wear my, my crown, you know, but my suitcase was packed so full that it didn't fit. So um, Darn it. I'll just have to win again and um, wear it next time. All right, let's get into some picks for this. There's another Big Ten game on Saturday at 3 o'clock on BTN. Wyoming plays at Illinois. Former Husker defensive coordinator Craig Bull, the head coach at Wyoming. They'll play. The game will start about the time we're wrapping up with the Northwestern game. Who are you liking this one? I like Illinois. Uh, Wyoming was hit really hard by the portal, and Illinois, again, new offensive coordinator. Are they going to be able to score? But those questions going into a season opener is always hard for a team to prepare for. And at home, I'm going with Illinois. I am, too. I think the Illini, who named their quarterback today, Tommy DeVito, who is a transfer from Syracuse, will be the starter for the Illini quarterback. I like them. They're favored by about 10. I think they get it done. I think, I think Wyoming's scrappy, though. They'll fight with those guys, but I think the Illini get it done. And we're a clean sweep for Illinois. Andrew, Tim, and Molly, who's joined the uh, fray this year. So everybody goes Illinois for this, right. this pick here. Then next Thursday night, huge game, and this will also be on Big Fox this is Penn State at Purdue next Thursday night. So we'll all be back. A lot of us will be back. Some of you may still be over here in Dublin. But that is a monster game, particularly if you're looking at it from the Big Ten West standpoint. I'm going to go, and maybe this is my heart wanting this to happen more, but I like Penn State. I think Penn State goes on the road and beats Purdue. I'm with you. You'll remember a year ago, I picked Penn State to win at Wisconsin, and you guys all thought I was crazy. But I like Sean Clifford, and I think Penn State, um, I, I just I, I can't go against them because they did uh, they won for me so much last year when I picked them, so I got to go with them to open up the season here. Andrew and Tim agree with us. Molly's going with the Boiters. So she's taking the home team, Boiter up. Uh, that should be a great game next Thursday night at ross Aid Stadium in West Lafayette. Also, next week on Thursday night, New Mexico State at Minnesota. 
Mexico State's one of the worst teams in FBS football. I think the Gophers roll. Unfortunately, I think the Gophers are a real threat to win the West. Yeah, um, I, I got to row the boat with you uh, on this one, Greg. And, you know, Jeremiah was out at practice, has been working with some of their offensive linemen and said that, you know, he likes the direction. He also thinks that they are going to be a contender there. And, and so, yeah, I'm with you. Very good. And Ibrahim's back for this one, right? He is. Gonna be, He's uh, a good back. Had a great start. Welcoming party for him. Had a great start to the season last year. They opened with Ohio State. He was ripping through the Buckeye defense, and he blew his knee out in the second half of that game. They didn't have him for the the rest of the year all right a game that's also this saturday late night and so for the folks who are still here in dublin this will be a this game will kick off at about 6 a.m is when this game it's hawaii hosting vanderbilt vanderbilt's got a new coach who are you liking this one i like vandy um hawaii was their defense was so bad last year and i don't know if they got much better a new coach and uh, a lot of moving parts and as good as they play in hawaii and a lot of times teams go there and don't play well but i i think vandy's gonna get it done out there i'm with you they're favored to win this game um you know I, there won't be a huge crowd in the islands but we're split as a crew molly goes with us andrew and tim picking the rainbow so they're both going with hawaii okay. in that game next thursday night this used to be one of the great rivalries in college football realignment has kind of changed a lot of these great rivalries right well, this is the backyard brawl, West Virginia and Pittsburgh. They're about an hour apart, really. The two campuses are not very far apart at all. Used to play every year in the Big East. Pitt's now in the ACC, West Virginia now in the Big 12. This should be a good game. Pitt's reloading a lot of new characters on their team. Mark Whipple comes to Nebraska. Even with all that, I think they're at home. They get it done. I am going against you on this one. I got West Virginia. I got the Mountaineers in this one, uh, Graham Harrell and his quarterback, JT Daniels. His, who's USC familiar, guy. Yes, yeah. who's familiar with uh, Graham Harrell's system. And I just, how, how are you going to replace a Heisman Trophy winning finalist and, or a Heisman Trophy finalist and a Bolitnikoff award winning receiver? That's hard to do. And I know, you know, they have a lot of talent coming back on defense, but I, that's just hard to replace. So I, I'm going to go with uh, West Virginia to pull the upset. I'm the only one on the pit train. Everybody else, you guys are all West Virginia. That'd be an upset. Pitt's favorite in that game. But you, Andrew, Tim, and Molly all go with West Virginia. Our last pick for week one, and we'll have a whole bunch more next week when everybody gets going in college football. North Texas at UTEP. UTEP had a surprisingly good year last year. Uh, the game is at UTEP. If, if you look at the betting odds, this is a pick 'em game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the home team. I'm gonna go with the Miners of UTEP to win this game. I am with you on this one. And uh, UTEP went to their first bowl game since 2014 yeah. last season. So they're riding a lot of momentum. Got a lot of players back on a defense that potentially could be the best defense in Conference USA. So um, I like I like the Miners at home. Andrew is with us, so is Molly. Tim is up the stream on this one. He goes with North Texas. He likes the mean green to win that one. So we're a little bit different. That's a, a skinny schedule to picks for the games for this upcoming week. Again, this is week zero. Very few games in college football. There are some games like Thursday, Friday night. Our next pick segment will be next Friday. So we've slipped in a couple of games that will happen before our next picks well, How about that? Segment. We're making picks. We're making college Love football it. picks. Love it. Love it. That's great. Hey, our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Uh, with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned, you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Folks, we've made it through an hour of our show tonight. Anybody having fun in here tonight? I'm ready for a ping-pong game to be going on. Somebody's got to get a ping-pong game going on here in front of us. That'd be fun to watch some of that. You any good at ping-pong, Greg? I, I used to play a lot. I haven't played very, for a long time. Keep there it going. Go. Keep the Go Big Red chant going there. So one hour in the books. we got another hour to come. Hopefully we have some special guests. We have to get that Irish accent on the program. We have one hour left. I'm hoping that... I think she's on her way. She's on her way. So All she right. will be here. That will happen. All right. Looking forward to that. So it's still another hour from Buskers in Huskers Dublin. Huskers at the Buskers. Huskers at the Buskers are having a good time here tonight. Back with Hour 2 coming up next. up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense.
More powerful than the Black Shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. It's time to amp up the fun. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Just move on up. Get great offers on select Ford vehicles, and you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on up. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam, Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field.
with the GoCurrency.com sports ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelp on the Huskers Radio Network. Happy Thursday, Huskers fans. Welcome into our final episode of Sports Nightly this week. We have a full slate of guests in hour two ahead as we have joining us Kevin Suits, Sabrina Edgerton, Chancellor Ronnie Green, and Brendan Stye, all joining Greg and Jessica at Buskers Bar. Nebraska football head coach Scott Frost spoke to the media earlier today, and among many topics, he discussed how he's kept his team on track despite the unusual circumstances that come with playing Saturday's game in Ireland. Not really. I think the way we travel was smart, um, and it's probably not the only way to do it, but we got here at 10 a.m., brought them straight to the stadium, and got their mind back on football and exercised them, and then we kept them up doing things all day. That was a really long two days kind of into one. And when they woke up the next day, we were right back at meetings and, and football. Um, so it, it kind of felt like a smooth transition straight back to football over here. And the guys are locked in. Elsewhere in Nebraska sports, Huskers soccer just about ready to get started against Arizona tonight at Hibner Stadium. The Huskers will look to earn their second victory of the season as our own Sammy Hawk is playing the net for the Huskers against her former school, Arizona. In pro sports today, unfortunate news out of the NBA as Oklahoma City Thunder second overall pick Chet Holmgren has been ruled out for the season with a foot injury. Elsewhere in the NBA, the LA, tra LA Lakers traded for Pat Beverly this morning. And in the NFL, where late yesterday Dallas Cowboys had a big injury, star left tackle uh, excuse me, Tyron Smith tore his left hamstring off the bone. He will attempt to return by December. Good luck to Tyron. And Tom Brady is back with the Bucks. He will start Tampa's final preseason game this weekend. The team announced this morning. Brady has, of course, missed most of training camp with an excused absence. This update is presented by Currency. Currency makes financing quick, easy, and secure for heavy machinery, ag equipment, trucks, trailers, and more. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelped, and Hour 2 of Sports Nightly is next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. It's a pistol set, then trees, trips to the near side. Snap back, stretch play right to Cook, hit and drop. He'll lose yardage. Garrett One. Nelson. Garrett Nelson firing from the backside, brings him down. It's a loss of two. It's now fourth down and three. Alex Rodriguez floats it over, pass by Eagleson, tight to the net, gets it back, swings, block back. Nebraska's got three blocks. Lucy Krause, the night of her life so far. It's 13-9 Big Red. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throw and pass, caught by Manning at the 10. Alludes a point maker to the five. One more Manning dives. Touchdown, Nebraska. Light diving, dig Hampton the libero. Now Penn State right front. Johnny Parker, greeted up by Rodriguez. Left front swing, Manning Kubik kill. 23-13, Lexi Rodriguez, a clinic thus far. Buster's second and goal to six. Two wideouts left, two to the near side. Ramir Johnson off to the right. They turn, give it off to Ramir, left side, cuts back at the five. He's in, touchdown, Nebraska. Ramir Johnson's third rushing touchdown of the year. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. And welcome back. We are at Buskers here in the heart of Dublin. All oh, the Husker fans are multiplying as we've started the show. We're in hour number two here tonight. What a good crowd. What a good looking crowd, right? Yes. Love to see the rest. These people are fun. And you know, a lot of these folks have been spending the last week or so with our next guest. That's Kevin Suits, the sports director at 1011. They carry our television shows for the Oscars. You have been over here. Six days? Seven? Well, how long have you been here? I have lost track. <laughs> it has been a whirlwind of a trip. Uh, we arrived in Dublin on uh, Saturday, last Saturday. So uh, we're, we're almost going on a week here. The ocean and some of the other bodies of water they have, and even the flowers are just very vibrant and it's a gorgeous gorgeous country are some of your folks here tonight oh absolutely we've got are you a oh good portion of them you brought the whole tour with you these are active people they like to do things <laughs> they haven't really had a choice over the past six seven eight days and so uh, you give them one more thing and they're like what else is that and i'll give them a shout out here they're troopers because you know going to some of these venues it's not easy work we oh. have climbed some pretty steep hills you know going up to the blarney castle uh, um, and some went up the stairs at the Bunratty Castle. That was tough. I am not going to lie. You were in shape for that? Uh, <laughs> I thought I was fairly in shape, but apparently that castle proves me otherwise. 
You mentioned the Grove. What's been the best thing you've eaten then? People always like to hear about food. Okay, so we went to a place in Killarney called Houlihan's, and it was uh, recommended by our motor coach driver and tour guide, and he said, go over there if you want seafood. And I think the entire group, there's about 20-plus of us, everyone ordered the cod. It was the size of my forearm. <laughs> It was uh, just a gigantic piece of fish, and it was so good. Killarney was pretty awesome, too. Okay. Good. And you you have stumbled across some long-lost relatives? Is that what's, what's going on? I met some folks tonight, and they're like, wait a minute. We think we're related to Kevin. Dave and Linda, if they're out there. Right there they are. Dave and Linda Suits, spelled S-J-U-T-S. -S. That doesn't happen very often? So what? No. Um, <laughs> there are some Suits families in Nebraska. There are. Uh -huh. Humphrey, Lincoln, uh, there's a couple out west, and then Dave and Linda from York. And, you know, we've tried to connect the dots on the genealogy and the family tree. In fact, uh, Dave's mother, Isla, got a hold of me and my mother several years back and wanted to try to figure out how are we related and it wasn't until dinner last night i mentioned that my great grandfather is uh, suit suits that's a story for another time <laughs> and they both raised their eyebrows and said oh my goodness i think he was on our family tree too wow now you're making this up no this is all true stuff <laughs> <laughs> wow kevin suits the original with us here tonight <laughs> at Buskers. Half of his tour group is here. You guys started promoting this over a year ago, I think, right? To, to, for people to come do this excursion? We were going to try to do this when Nebraska was originally going to play against Illinois here right. in Ireland. And, of course, COVID canceled that game. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if that was the benefit of holiday vacations to continue to get customers. So a quick story. Holiday Vacations wasn't quite sure how this would sell. They have never done a tour and travel trip that includes a sporting a event. Yeah. yeah. They're very structured in the format and the places that they go. In fact, I know somebody from uh, Illinois that went on the Ireland trip with Holiday Vacations earlier this month. And it's kind of rinse and repeat. They know the places to go and they know the... Uh, the right sequence of events and how it all goes in a travel perspective but throwing in a football game there was maybe a little bit of hesitation on their part to say well we're gonna have to give up a couple of days and we're gonna add a football game not to mention you know they're gonna try to take this group into a stadium and have them all come back together at night and get on the bus at the yeah. same time it's gonna be challenging so there was a they kind of cracked the door open and said let's see what happens what I was told was the initial I guess, uh, allotment of seat, seats they have on the trip sold out in 48 hours. Wow. And then they said, okay, we're going to double it. <laughs> and the next 20, some seats, sold out in the next 48 hours. So in total, there are four, excuse me, three different groups of 40 people on this trip. So wow. it's 120 total. We're all experiencing the same things. Everyone will go to the football game on Saturday. And I found out just last night from uh, our tour guide, that she has multiple sheets of people that were left out. They're on a waiting list. Wow. So they could have done more, but they just don't have, you know, you would have to get so many bus drivers, and you'd have to get yeah. hotels Hotel to basically space. allow yeah. everybody to be with holiday vacations. Um, I, I, are we surprised by Husker Nation? No. no we're not. This is just yet another story of how well Nebraska fans travel, and even in unique ways, just like, through holiday vacations in 10-11. You crammed a lot into the time. So I mean, you talked about what you liked earlier, but if, for the people that aren't with your group, what would you recommend if people are still looking for stuff to do over the next few days? Okay, so the number one thing I would say to anybody that's here for the football game, get outside of Dublin. Yes. Dublin is very metropolitan, uh, urban. There's great, great energy in this city, but it kind of seems to lean a little bit more like uh, a big city in the United States. If you get outside of Dublin, you start to see the countryside and you get to experience some of these small, little, unique towns. And plus, you'll see some of the castles uh, and some of the, you know, wildlife they have out uh, across the country of Ireland. And we went to a small town called Adair. We were only there about an hour and 30 minutes, enough to get out, go to the gift shop, walk around a beautiful park there. I texted my wife and I said, I think I'm like in a Hallmark movie setting. <laughs> it was so cute. It was a neat town. And I don't know what the population is there, but I'd be shocked if it's anything over, you know, five to 10,000 people. Wow. So nice. have you thought about the football game at all? 
A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Being at Aviva Stadium today finally got me to uh, flip that switch and say, oh my goodness, there's Scott Frost, there's the football team, and that's ultimately what's going to be the highlight of the trip, hopefully. At least that's how it's going to culminate, is at the uh, Aviva Stadium on Saturday. What do you make of this team? There's some, I mean, what, Jessica asked me this in hour one, of defense, offense, special teams, what are you most excited to see Saturday? Casey Thompson. I think just having yes. some... Uh, newness at the quarterback spot is going to be fun to watch for Nebraska. Not to say that it wasn't with previous quarterbacks, and we know Logan Smothers is uh, still on the team, but Casey with his experience in the college game and marrying his skill set to Mark Whipple's offense, what is that going to look like? I'm pretty convinced that this Nebraska football team is going to score points this year. I think he's too experienced and elusive of a quarterback, and if everything we've heard is true about how strong of an arm he has, they'll be able to stretch the field, and they improve their team's speed. Scott said that a lot during the preseason. They're just faster, and if I read between the lines, that means you have more opportunity, or maybe the playbook incorporates more vertical passing, maybe more so than we've seen over the past few years. Okay, so outside of the quarterback, then, give us a player to watch. Who are you looking to see on Saturday? I'd like to see O'Shawn Mathis. Hate to go with another transfer, but, you know, you've been around him. He is a yeah. big, impressive, strong mm -hmm. young man. And if he gets on the edge, I, I know Northwestern has, a, you know, a future NFL first-round draft pick. But can we turn O'Shawn loose and see his, see what he can do and how quick can he get to the backfield? Maybe that's been a missing piece to Nebraska's defense. And remember when Scott and his coaching staff had such a successful year at uh, UCF, one of the things that made that defense go is a good pass, pass rush. Yep. So having O'Shawn on the edge, if he is everything that he is built to be, I think that he's a game changer on the defensive side of the football. Should be fun to follow. This team is, uh, I, has, we've talked about how they just seem like they have fun together. There seems to be a looseness about this football team. And Scott Frost mentioned twice this week he thought they were really tight when they opened last year at Illinois. Do you sense a funness about this group? You guys were at practice today, right? Mm -hmm. Well, part of my report on 10-11 from Dublin here today was we got to watch a little bit of practice. I think most, well, not most, half of the video that I gathered with my camera is players dancing. <laughs> Tommy yeah. Hill was with one of the GAs, and they were like arm in arm, and they were doing a little shimmy. And it, Not river dancing. No, not river <laughs> dancing. Not Irish dancing. Yeah. They were really grooving, and plus they pump in the music oh, that yeah. they oh, have yeah. back in Lincoln. So there is a looseness about this team. I don't know if it's because they've exited the grind, quote-unquote, and they're now, like, on the brink of the season beginning, and that in itself has to be pretty exciting. But this group has so many new parts, and they've worked so hard at building that trust, building the chemistry, and coming together. Not to mention, they've done some really awesome things together. Mm -hmm. You know, what other teams in the country have so many new parts and have had so many opportunities to grow and bond off of the football field coming to Dublin takes the cake yeah and so I think that lends itself in a very positive light for this Nebraska football team you've done a lot of interviews though. there's some personalities on this oh team. yes Stefan Wynn he's great yeah. Tommy Hill he's confident uh, I think that's the polite way of putting yeah, it he is and Casey is just so um, mature is that the right I mean, word? He's 23 years old. He's he, an older guy. It's like you're talking to somebody that is 35. He's very well thought. Uh, he, he's a fantastic speaker. You know, he, he's pretty measured and everything. And I, I'm just very impressed with his character, his command of a room. That's another thing that we always watch and are, can be very impressed with. And I think when Casey is in front of a group that... He has everybody's attention, and he gives very thoughtful answers. He doesn't dismiss anybody, and I can really respect that. And I just feel like uh, he is the undisputed leader of this team, and it goes beyond what he brings to the table as a quarterback of a football team. Isn't it amazing you take last year's Northwestern game out? Since we joined this league, the, the, the games between these two teams have been just utterly epic every year. Now, last year got it out of hand in our favor. I'd love to see it again, but, man, I know Fitz will have his guys ready to play. Yeah, you know, we always think about the Ron Kellogg to Jordan Westerkamp Hail Mary. That's the instant yep. thought when it comes to this series. But if you think about it, there have been games that have been decided on a field goal in the final seconds or overtime. There are, have been other drives where somebody's nearing the red zone, and it's a five-point game. But every one of these matchups, 
last year of course is the exception it was but you you shouldn't just think well kellogg the wester camp yeah that made it a good no this series over the past whatever 10 years every game tends to be very very well played and it goes down to the wire I don't know if that's going to be the case on Saturday, but if you look at it, Nebraska and Northwestern have played 15 times previously. The Huskers have the advantage in this series, but that could very well be flipped just right. because a lot of these games are decided in the final moments. You have a connection in the family to Husker volleyball. How about a number one ranked team going to serve it up tomorrow? Yeah, holy moly. Uh, <laughs> My daughter is in high school, so high she's got a match volleyball. tonight, right? Got a match against number four ranked Waverly, so oh what a way to start the year. Uh, so shout out to my daughter who is uh, yeah. embarking in her high school uh, volleyball career. My wife is an assistant coach for the defending class C1 champs, so we've got mom and daughter to be cheering. I'm going to stay up late tonight, pull up the match on Strive, and uh, try to be a good dad from many miles away. I'm going to do you. my part and uh, cheer them on. Good and for you. And then watch Husker volleyball tomorrow, right? And, we're, and then watch Husker football on Saturday, <laughs> go to the pep rally. Oh, good you, you're thing. You're not that, getting any rest anytime soon. Well, good thing, Jessica, they have Irish coffee. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried the Irish coffee yet? I have not. I'm not a coffee drinker. Oh, well, it does have some coffee. It has other stuff in it, too, oh, okay. that maybe you enjoy. Okay. Iced tea? That's not. No. Ooh, they don't like iced tea here, apparently. Hey. Mrs. Green is in the house. We've got royalists waving at us from back there. She and her husband, her husband was trying kilts on the other day. So I, I, did he get his kilt made? Yep. Yes. That's a yeah. thumbs, up. thumbs up. Great. The kilt is in the works. Husker Jane is back in the back of the room. So <laughs> good to have the uh, chancellor's wife joining us here tonight. This could be a fun year. You're going to miss the first big night of high school football. That's always a special time. But, hey, this is pretty special to be right here. Yeah, I think this is one of the uh, one of the instances in which you say it's okay not being in Lincoln on a Friday night. There are still going to be eight other weeks of the regular yeah, that's season. That's right. So that's uh, right. let's skip across the pond. Let's watch, well, let's watch the Huskers. And uh, what's the figure, 10,000 Nebraska fans? More. I would 13. definitely agree with you. That's the one thing with all over. of our travels that – Taking it over. Yeah. It's – and it's not just in Dublin, guys. We noticed them when we were at the Cliffs of Moore. We've noticed them when we were at Killarney, Kilkenny. If you go to one of these towns in Ireland, you're bound to see Husker Red this week. Very good. Good to see you. Has he been a good tour guide, folks? Has he? Yes. All right. Yeah. Let's hear it for Kevin Suits. I owe them all a pint. Wow. That could, get, that could get pricey. That could get a little pricey if you do that. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. Kevin Suits, the sports director at 1011, join us here on Sports Night. Hey, if the Oscars return the first or second half opening kickoff for a touchdown, you could win a $54,000 credit on a new vehicle from any Woodhouse family dealership this season. A contestant gets chosen every week. Go to Oscars.com slash Woodhouse for official rules and how to enter. I told Jessica before we got over here, I go, we need to have an Irish accent on the show. We're going to do that next. Do you want your date to wait for your interlock device to let you drive? Your kids to ask why you have an ankle bracelet? Or your boss to see your criminal history? Do you want to miss important life events because of house arrest? Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. The name of our new promotion says it all. Powerball First Millionaire of the Year. Through September 12th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket at any Nebraska Lottery retailer and enter the voucher number to win a trip to New York City for New Year's Eve on December 31st, 2022. Plus, you'll also get a chance to win $1 million and become the Powerball First Millionaire of 2023. Remember, this promotion ends on September 12th, so plan ahead and play today. Powerball top prize odds 1 in 292 million. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, 
businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska. Providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane. Servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. The three-row 2022 Subaru Ascent. It's the biggest SUV Subaru has ever made. With room for up to eight, choice of second row captain's chair or bench seating, plus standard symmetrical all-wheel drive with up to 27 miles per gallon. The 2022 Subaru Ascent. Love is now bigger than ever. Seating availability varies by trim level. EPA estimated highway fuel economy for 2022 Subaru Ascent and Ascent Premium models. Actual mileage may vary. Duto Subaru located at 2750 Jamie Lane in Lincoln and online at dutosubaru.com. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Stop by Nick Lennon! Hey Huskers fans, this Saturday, join us for a jam-packed day of Husker sports beginning at 7.30 a.m. with Huskers game day against Northwestern. We'll take you through pregame from kickoff to the final whistle and all the way through to the last phone call on Big Red Reaction. At 6.30 p.m., Nebraska volleyball pregame coverage begins for Nebraska showdown with Pepperdine. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Let Shelter Insurance get you in the game this football season. The Nebraska Huskers are gearing up for another big year, and this is your chance to win tickets from Shelter Insurance and the Husker Radio Network. Contact a Nebraska Shelter agent, and they'll register you for a chance to win tickets to one of four home football games this season. Only Shelter agents can register you, so call, email, or drop by for your chance to win. Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com slash Huskers and ask them to register you to win. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more acres. 
solutions for every build. As we welcome you back to Sports Nightly from Buskers in Dublin, Ireland. I'm Jessica Cootie. And Greg has been on me to get somebody with an Irish accent on the show over these next couple of shows. So I, I've located somebody. This is Sabrina Edgerton, and she is the Director of Marketing and Communications for this game this year. And I know you guys have put in a ton of work. How does it feel to finally have both teams here in Dublin? Oh, my gosh. It's been a long time coming because you have to remember we had 2020 with Notre Dame and Navy and COVID. Then we had you guys with um, Illinois last year and again canceled because of COVID. So this has been like four years in the making to finally get a team here. So to have you both here, to have the city full of color, it's amazing. We're delighted. You know, a lot of people ask, how do you go about picking the teams that you have come to play in these games? How do you guys figure out which teams you want to come play? It, you know, it, I think East Coast is a big part of it because we want people to travel. We want fans to travel. That's really important. So we want to make it as accessible and as easy for them as possible. And um, so there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes with the team in America over there, meeting with you guys and convincing someone to give up a home team, convincing the other team to come. So there's a lot of logistics more than anything that goes into it. You're wearing your Nebraska red, so are you going to be biased? You're, you're working for the game, but are, are you for the Huskers? I'm neutral, but I just felt like I couldn't not show up tonight. I had to wear the red. We love it. We love it. <laughs> what has it been like getting to know, because you've been, you just came, you're with the teams all day today, to getting to know some of these teams and some of these players? I mean, I've never felt as small as I have in my <laughs> life than when I'm standing on your pitch with 112 players. Those guys are huge. <laughs> like massive we just don't have sports stars that size with that many all at once and um, but getting to know the teams it's amazing you know you should be really proud of the players the cheerleaders the band that you have here they're an incredible representation of, of nebraska the people the community and your school and um, it's been a pleasure yeah and, and again working with you guys throughout this whole process i know you guys expected when you signed up nebraska that these fans are going to come to dublin and they're going to be here to cheer on their team we knew that it was always going to be the bigger number of Nebraska fans traveling than Northwestern fans, um, which, I mean, it speaks volume for you guys and your passion and your commitment because it's not an easy journey for you. you you've got to get that um, connection to Chicago or from somewhere to come over here. So I think it's incredible. It's incredible to see and, and see how many have actually really turned out. So American football is not big here, right? So why did you guys want to bring over a college football game? Do you know... It is growing, and it's great to see. Um, the American Football Ireland are doing a great job of getting people signing up and playing, but you're right, it's not as huge as it, as it is, especially college football. You know, college football in America is very different to our college sports. It's like it, This is the same as, if not bigger, than some of our professional sports. So trying to communicate that's hard, but with college again it comes back to your passion and the fact that you guys are willing to travel and that's what it's all about it's bringing that slice of america to ireland and it's great for the people of ireland to experience that it's brilliant for the economy and it's great for the schools so it's kind of a win-win so yeah i mean we we know that it's going to be heavily nebraska fans right at this game but will the local people come and, and have they bought tickets and they'll be there to experience it yeah like the stadium's looking really good where it's going to be incredible and um it's really interesting finding people's bias or what team that they're choosing. You know, a lot of our local teams would wear red, would be their color in, in, okay, in Munster. Like like so that. we find that a lot of people are automatically going with the red. Um, but it's interesting with the influencers that we've worked with and, and ambassadors and asking them to pick their colors. And it's so funny finding the mix and the reason why they're doing it. Okay, so uh, game day. We like to tailgate, right, in America. And is there going to be tailgating for people that are listening here? And if not, what's the alternative? There will absolutely be tailgating. Oh, we have tailgating. Okay. It's going to be a little bit different because there's nowhere where we can park up a lot of trucks and, and drink at the back of it. I don't even know if that's legal in Ireland. <laughs> um, but Temple Bar will be the tailgating zone on Saturday from 12 p.m. Um, we're going to have dedicated bars for um, Huskers fans and dedicated bars for, for the Wildcats. So all of that information is available on the Game Week app. So the Erlingus College Football Classic app is going to give you everything you need to know about tailgating, get into the stadium, stadium regulations, rules, all of that.
And what about the uh, big pep rally coming up tomorrow? Pep Tell rally's tomorrow. That. So really excited for that. So it's going to be in Marion Square. So again, um, really central, not too far from where we're located at the moment. Um, five minute walk. Um, so that's going to be really great fun. Again, something that we don't do locally. So it's great to have that on in the city. Um, it is going to be limited capacity. So I do encourage all the Huskers fans to get down there um, at the right time to make sure that they get their spot in there. Um, but that's going to be so much fun. Okay, listen, you've been working up for this moment. You've been practicing. Husker fans, I need you to help her out here. She knows what to say here. So show her how it's done, okay? Come on, Sabrina. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Go Big Red. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Go Big Red. <laughs> yes, nicely done. Sabrina Edgerton with the game here. Uh, thank you so much for all thank the work. You. I know you guys have been working tirelessly on this, and it's just been so awesome to be a part of, and I know the players have really appreciated it. So thank you for all your work. Thank I appreciate you. you spending some time with us. No, of course. I've really loved it. Love getting to know you all. Thank you. All right, going to take another break here on Sports Nightly. The Woodhouse, or the Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. With 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned, you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Back with more Sports Nightly from Buskers in Dublin right after this. Discover the pinnacle of American automotive design with the all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair is your Wagoneer certified dealer, delivering an experience to match the premium quality of your vehicle, making your choice easy. The all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer are equipped with state-of-the-art technology, a luxurious, expansive cabin, and confident capability you would expect from this legendary SUV. Visit us in-store or online at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. Nebraska Innovation Campus creates partnerships between business and the University of Nebraska. Partners lease office space, laboratories, pilot plants, and greenhouses, all centrally located with easy access to University of Nebraska talent and resources. Nebraska Innovation Campus, creating spaces and culture that inspire. Learn more at innovate.unl.edu. They give it off to Yant. Dives! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Stop by Nicklin Head! Mind block! Hey, Huskers fans, this Saturday, join us for a jam packed day of Husker sports beginning at 7 30 a.m. with Huskers game day against Northwestern. We'll take you through pregame from kickoff to the final whistle and all the way through to the last phone call on Big Red Reaction. At 6 30 p.m., Nebraska volleyball pregame coverage begins for Nebraska Showdown with Pepperdine. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. How can I help? Hi, thanks for telling my family and me about Toyota's national sales event. Oh, you're welcome. We got a new RAV4 during the event, and it's been great. Well, that makes me happy. Right now through September 6th, it is the best time to drive off in a new Camry hybrid, Tacoma, and more. So what are you up to? You know, we took the RAV4 to a great spot. We've hiked, rafted, and now we're exploring a cave. Amazing. You're inside a cave right now? Yep. Well, I'm glad the RAV4 could make it all happen. Yeah, my wife talked me into spelunking. I'm actually a complete and absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. Huh, I could have done without the echo on that. Toyota's national sales event is on. Visit your participating Toyota dealer today to enjoy every last second of summer. Toyota, let's go places. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Dealer inventory may vary. Event ends September 6th. I'm so glad we called SOS. Our AC is the coldest. I'm always the coldest. SOS to the rescue. Hey, this is Dakota Scrawford, raw receiver from Louisiana, now playing in Lincoln. When your AC isn't the coldest, you call SOS heating and cooling. 
Their techs don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than a competition guaranteed. Take it from the coldest. We'll keep you cool this summer. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Every day, Central Valley Ag Cooperative works with our farmers to feed the globe. Embracing the cooperative spirit, CVA's innovative products and services in grain, agronomy, feed, and energy deliver world-class value to our members. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Learn how we grow agriculture together at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. We might have just come out with our most refreshing Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer yet. It's called the Essential Collection. It's made with coconut water and real fruit juice. So it's always going to have a real refreshing fruit taste. Can refreshing get any more refreshing? Yep, it can and it just did. Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. Made with coconut water and real fruit juice for superior taste. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. IRC Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Welcome back inside of Buskers, inside the heart of Dublin. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. Time to tell you the Nebraska 811 says, Go dig red before you dig. Always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, it's the law. Dig makes me think of volleyball. Husker volleyball starts tomorrow. Two matches, 11 o'clock at the Devaney Center, Texas AM Corpus Christi. And if you haven't heard, they are the number one ranked Cornhuskers that will play tomorrow uh, in volleyball. And the number one Husker. Is with us now, Chancellor Ronnie Green. We found you roaming upstairs, and I lured you to come on down here. How are you? Yeah, it's great to be here, Greg. Good to see you guys and see so many Husker fans here. We're in Buskers, right? So yes. The home of the Huskers on Fleet Street, and so it's great to see so many Huskers now flowing into Dublin as we knew was going to happen. Uh, we've had close to 2,000 people out on tours all over Ireland and Scotland since uh, the last weekend. They're now converging on Dublin. Kind of expecting to have somewhere over 13,000 people uh, representing the Big Red in the stadium on Saturday. No. So it's, it's exciting to be here. Well, what all have you done? How much fun have you, have you been having on this experience? Well, we've had a great time. I, uh, Jane and I were over in Scotland for uh, Monday and Tuesday. I'm actually Scottish ancestry, and so it's my homeland, so to speak. Um, had some fun, got fitted for a kilt for the yeah. first time in my Bearing life. The lead, and that, the lead. Yeah, that created quite a buzz on campus, as I understand. <laughs> Uh, so uh, it, we did it in great fun. It's going to be in my family colors and my family tartan. And uh, our oldest son's getting married in May, and I threatened to wear it at the wedding. That's awesome. Uh, so How'd we, that go over? Uh, he's kind of the one who discovered much of our Scottish answer. He, I think he thinks he's Robert the Bruce, you know. So, uh, so <laughs> I think he thinks it's great. I'm not so sure his fiance thinks. She's it's not on great. board yet. As, uh, as he does, but uh, no, we've we've had a lot of fun with our our huskers who are over here. We were with about 80. Uh, Huskers in Edinburgh for wow. a couple of days, and uh, they're now here, got here tonight, uh, along with so many others. Was the kilt thing something you had wanted to do, been thinking about? It was pretty spontaneous, actually. <laughs> so I'd, I'd actually been to Edinburgh many times over the years on business uh, in my previous lives, but I'd never had the opportunity to go to my mother's clan homeland, home, home area. And so Jane and I did that on Monday. And uh, went to that little town of Luss on Loch Lomond in Scotland. Uh, my mother was a Cahoon, the Cahoon clan. And so uh, Tuesday, we're in Edinburgh with the group. And, you know, I said, I'm going to go fit it, get fitted for a kilt in my, in my home, uh, Tartan. And so uh, we did that. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, so uh, looking forward to being able to debut that at our bowl game. Yes. When we're at a bowl game this, yes. this winter. 
and when we have the NCAA volleyball tournament in Omaha and our women are in the national championship finals. So uh, looking forward to that uh, as well. I love it. That's great. Ronnie Green, the chancellor of the University of Nebraska, Lincoln with us here at Buskers, uh, the big Husker hangout here for the next couple of days in Dublin. The school year started Monday. Are you getting reports back? Yeah, the one the one kind of, a, I guess, uh, awkward thing for me is this is the first week of classes on our campuses at UNL. So our students are in their fourth day today as they are kind of in the middle of their day at home. Um, and so it's uh, been a good first week. Good. Uh, we've had a, a good group of our students come back. It's, they are so happy to be there and to be there fully with no restrictions. Yes. I mean, it is, they're so happy to be back. I, when our, our, Go Big Red, well, our Go Big Red welcome on Friday last week before we left with all of our freshman class, they run through the tunnel walk. They formed the end on the, the field as a class of 2026. After that, the Big Red welcome was so encouraging. I mean, we had students coming up to us wanting to talk, want to talk about how excited they were. You know, they, it felt like it was 2018 again and that's the first time we felt that way in the last three years it just feels so good to be in that situation with our students and to have them back on campus well i've told you and i've told ted carter you two kept the doors open for the university uh, during all that pandemic stuff and you deserve a lot of credit for doing that we traveled over here with the team on Monday night, and because school is starting, a bunch of the academic counselors are with the football team, and they're making them go through their yeah. studies while they're here trying to yeah. see the city and get ready yeah. for a game. And I, I was really pleased today. I'm sure many of our fans heard this as well. Scott's press conference today when he was talking about how how acclimated quickly the team became, how they were getting to their workouts very quickly. He was worried about that. You know, yeah. you know, traveling all the way across the pond and kind of getting acclimated. They've got a game when they get home in a week, you know, so that reacclimation when we get back on Sunday. And he was, he just felt really good. I was glad to hear that today about how good he feels like the team has settled in and they're in their rhythm and they're, they're all about business here on Saturday. We were with our Northwestern counterparts at a couple of events uh, today, earlier, and last night, and I was kidding Morty Shapiro, my, my counterpart at Northwestern, about, uh, you know, uh, uh, we're a little different now, so you better get ready. You know, so, <laughs> so it's, you know, we're, we're looking forward to a great game with the team. We've heard a lot of these student athletes that are here have never traveled anywhere outside of the country yeah. and they're getting to experience a lot of things and they really seem to be embracing it and, and learning a lot about the history and the culture and, and having fun together. But how good is that for these young students to have this kind of opportunity? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's the first time for many, if not the majority of our, our student athletes to be out of the country and have the opportunity for that experience is a great, great thing. And that goes for our cheer squad and our pep squad and the band members who are here as well. Uh, so it's it's great for them. You know, I, I was watching their kind of a you know, welcome event the other night and the couple of guys that did got, got to dance with the Irish dance, you know, <laughs> all of that. Uh, it's, it's just a really learning experience for them too, on top of being able to play a game in such a unique way and in a unique place. Haven't seen you all summer. A lot has happened. We have two new members to the league, UCLA and USC, and a giant television deal announced by the commissioner last week. Scott Frost said this at his press conference Sunday. So proud of the league and what they have done. Your thoughts about some of that? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, college sports, you know, collegiate athletics is in a big time of transition. Uh, unprecedented in many ways and how fast the change is happening in collegiate athletics and of course the Big Ten is at the center of that in so many different ways right and, and you know not only NIL which has gotten a lot of attention and we've positioned very well in that space at Nebraska but you know the the eventual probably coming in a different way of thinking about compensation for athletes. I think that's probably down the road here ahead of us. Expansion and realignment of conferences, realignment of media rights agreements, the Big Ten media rights agreement announcement last week, about a week ago now. Uh, big deal, obviously yeah. a really big deal. Um, the expansion with USC and UCLA coming into the conference in 2024 is a, is a big deal as well. Uh, you know, never know what the future will hold. I expect that expansion will probably continue ahead of us um, before we're done. 
you know and so it's just it's a it's a very interesting and intriguing time in collegiate athletics uh, with just a tremendous amount of change but I feel so good about the way that we are positioned at Nebraska um, in in that mix mm -hmm. and in that picture uh, for what uh, what it's going to look like in the future. Very good. Well, we're going to cut you loose. We know your wife's out here, and you got some some family and friends with you as well. Good to see you. We'll talk again Saturday before kickoff. You bet. Go Big Rip. Ronnie Green with us here on our Sports Alley coverage from Busker's Bar here in the heart of Dublin. Buckle up, put that phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Thank Highway you. Safety Office. We're back to wrap up tonight's show next. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset, day by day. Donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. This is University of Nebraska Lincoln student Colton Husa with Campus News. 26 Husker students participated in the Rural Fellows Learning Program. It's a 10 week summer internship across 16 Nebraska communities. Students work with local leaders to plan and execute community improvement projects. Past projects include water system improvements in Wahoo, early childhood education access in Ord, and farmers market and music festival management in Imperial. You already got the hat the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. I'm so glad we called SOS. Our AC is the coldest. I'm always the coldest. SOS to the rescue. Hey, this is Dakota Scrawford, raw receiver from Louisiana, now playing in Lincoln. When your AC isn't the coldest, you call SOS Heating and Cooling. Their takes don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than a competition guaranteed. SOS Take it from the coldest. We'll keep you cool this summer. Oscars return the first or second half opening kickoff for a touchdown. You could be a winner of $54,000 of credit for a new vehicle from Woodhouse Auto Family Leadership this season. This week's contestant, Randy Hemphill from Ravina, Nebraska. So good luck, Randy. Go to Huskers.com Woodhouse for the official rules and how to enter. Well, we found him. Brendan Stye. I'm here, guys. Former member of the pipeline and a member of our group here at HRN joins us now. How's your trip been? It's been good. Uh, you know, a little acclimation getting here, but uh, day after acclimation, got a little golf in. And you played golf? I did. I got lucky. Somebody backed out on a foursome. They're like, you want to golf? I was there. Well, how'd you play? I actually played pretty good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing about Ireland, it's so difficult because the, out of bounds, you cannot find your ball. And so it's kind of a link style type of golf. And unless you hit it straight. Well, they tell you, you know, when you're asking them about the course, they're like, just don't worry about anything. Just if you see the fairway aim for that don't try to get tricky and think you can do this and that and the other just aim for the green <laughs> well this team we're anxious i'm sure you're anxious to see what what's going to happen on saturday i am you know i think a lot of it has to do with just all the newness uh with some of the coaches uh the players obviously but you know it's just seeing where these guys are uh, watched them through fall camp obviously with spring you know there's a lot of development that needs to still happen um and you always are a little concerned as a coach and even as a player that first game because you don't 
when the when the lights are shining bright and the bullets are for real, people respond differently. And um, I'm hoping, and I think our guys are ready. I, I know our coaches are very confident in what we've, we're going to put out on the field on Saturday. I know everybody wants to ask you about Nebraska's offensive line, but I want to ask you about Nebraska's defensive line going up against Northwestern's offensive line, and Peter Skaronski is, is as advertised, and that's a legit offensive line. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I think um, with, with Northwestern, they've had – it's an interesting shift with these guys because I've been – you know, when I was coaching with Bo, uh, they were very disciplined. They were all about development. You know, three, four years, boom, you're starting. I think you're starting to see a trend more towards, uh, you know, guys playing right away. And I don't know that that is actually a good thing, but we might evolve into that because these athletes are developing so much faster now with their training and some of the, the excellent coaching that's going on in high school. Um, but, you know, it's weird because I look at Northwestern over the last couple, three years, they've gotten away from the development, and now they're like, play for me now. That offensive line is good with Northwestern. Their left tackle, in my opinion, hasn't improved in two years. Okay. So, you know, I think I like our chances. We've got four good guys that are coming off the edge. Uh, we're not going to get overpowered by this offensive line. Where I worry later in the season with our guys on the edge is the Minnesota's you know, the, the, the bigger teams coming in that we're playing um, and holding up our own in the running game. But I like I like our, our chances tomorrow versus their offensive line. like it. All right, how about our offensive line? What have you seen? I mean, that's probably, and most people even in here probably, how's our line going to hold up? What have you seen in camp from that group? <laughs> it's interesting with camp. It's, it always starts slow. Defense always has the edge. And so I kind of, I don't necessarily like to watch the, the acclimation practices. I like to watch them in pads. So from the beginning, one-on-ones, the first day in pads, I watched them to the last real heavy practice that they had in one-on-ones, and they've improved uh, across the board. Um, I think we're lesser talented up front, but yet I think there's potential across the board. Um, you got Teddy coming back from a knee. That's always a question, you know, how is he going to respond to that? But I, I, I'm watching him over the practices, you know, starting slow and then getting into a, a, a real good rhythm. Um, the, the big question mark, I think, right now is Corcoran going into left guard. Who Who's going to sustain and maintain the center and right guard position? Ben Hart at tackle. You've got Anthony coming in from Oklahoma State, who I think is is really kind of the one guy in the group that has that, that kind of like, I'm going to get you attitude. And I, I don't want to say what I want to say. He's been involved in a couple say. of skirmishes. <laughs> yeah, is no, that okay? you got to have those guys. What's wrong with those guys? you got to have those guy? type of guys. I used to get in fights, yes. and you know, and, and again, we, I played against guys that like to fight too, so it went hand in hand. Um, but not just, I'm not promoting fighting. What I'm saying is, you know, approaching your job every day uh, like you want to beat up the guy you know, you're, you're going against. So, uh, but again, so that tackle position at the right side with Ben Hart, uh, I'm not sure, uh, you know, how that's going to all pan out. But and Anthony and Ben Hart, uh, and even Banks into that equation. And even been a little bit of Kevin Williams, who's been bouncing yep. around. So center, you know, guard, uh, right guard position right now. You've got Hickson, uh, who's going to start at center. Uh, I don't know who's going to be at right guard, but it might be uh, Bando uh, with a mix of Piper in there and even a Kevin Williams. And it's going to be one of those years to where I think, you know, and, and I'm going to credit Donovan. Donovan Royola has come in, and he's injected a, a pretty much – a higher emphasis on accountability so when those guys go home at night he wants them thinking about what they're doing not coming up and showing up the next day and not having an answer for a mistake save some of this for husker yeah, game i was gonna ask you about the quarterback but you talked too long about the offensive line of course <laughs> these offensive linemen they, they talk doesn't about matter. It's the offensive line it's all about the line yeah. you heard Deion sanders hey that's right we can play him as soon as we get the big guy all right Husker game day. Brendan will be the first guy out of the gate, 7.30, back in the uh, stage for that. Five, it'll be 1.30 over here. Have fun the next two days. Let's go win a Thank game. You. I appreciate it. Go Big Red. Thanks for everybody coming out. You bet. Brendan Stye, former member of the Pipeline, now member of Husker uh, Development, and he'll be part of our crew again this year. Jessica, this has been a blast. Thanks, everybody, for getting this set up tonight. And uh, we're off to Marcus Oscar. Volleyball also pregame goes on Saturday. Thanks, everybody, for setting all this up. Thanks, for everybody, for coming out tonight. Yes. Go Big Red.
us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Pass play, right side, big hit, Hayden Kubik. Kaboom! She's been impressive. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for a Nebraska volleyball doubleheader as the Huskers battle the Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders and the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes. Pre-game coverage for Game 1 against the Islanders starts at 10.30 a.m., while coverage of Game 2 against the Golden Hurricanes starts at 6 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Let Shelter Insurance get you in the game this football season. The Nebraska Huskers are gearing up for another big year, and this is your chance to win tickets from Shelter Insurance and the Husker Radio Network. Contact a Nebraska Shelter agent, and they'll register you for a chance to win tickets to one of four home football games this season. Only Shelter agents can register you, so call, email, or drop by for your chance to win. Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com slash huskers and ask them to register you to win. Do you want your date to wait for your interlock device to let you drive? Your kids to ask why you have an ankle bracelet? Or your boss to see your criminal history? Do you want to miss important life events because of house arrest? Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam, Acres has what you need 